raising awareness about prescription drug abuse in New Jersey. That's what the Partnership for a Drug-Free New Jersey, the Sheriff's Association of New Jersey, and the Drug Enforcement Administration of New Jersey are doing. But they need your help. Here to tell us more is Angelo Valenti, who is the Executive Director of the Partnership for a Drug-Free New Jersey, and Bergen County Sheriff Michael Saldino. Welcome to the show, both Thank of you. Thank you. First of all, what is the American Medicine Chest Challenge all about? Hello, Angel. Sure. The American Medicine Chess Challenge is an opportunity for people throughout the state of New Jersey to take time to look at their medicine cabinet, to see what's in that medicine cabinet, because we know that young kids uh, throughout the state, in every community, suburban communities, rural communities, and urban communities, are accessing these medicines and abusing them. In fact, 70% of people who abuse prescription medication get them from medicine cabinets of family and friends. So it's really an opportunity to go through your medicine cabinet, do an inventory, and also to dispose of your medicine. And that's where the sheriffs come in. The sheriffs organizing a day of collection throughout New Jersey with the Partnership for a Drug-Free New Jersey on November the 10th. And unfortunately, they often see their parents or, or the adults who keep it, like, even on their nightstand and, and close by, and they see them doing it, so they think it's not very harmful? That's the biggest issue that we have to overcome, uh, the perception of risk among young people about prescription drugs is very low. And for the exact reason, as you mentioned, people see their grandparents, their parents use these drugs, and if they use properly, they obviously have some great benefits. But Unfortunately, you have young kids that are experimenting and using drugs that could become very addicted. And what we're seeing happening is emergency room visits are, are quadrupling. And unfortunately, each day, there's 40 Americans that die from prescription drug abuse. And most of those are young children and teenagers and, and young adults. And because of those issues, what are you faced with, Sharon? What law enforcement is experiencing now, uh, you'll see this on chat rooms on the Internet <clears throat> where uh, these juveniles are... Uh, farming, they call it, P-H-A-R-M-I-N-G. Farming means getting pharmaceuticals, and they'll go and have, and, and throw everything into a bowl and call it a trail mix. And randomly, someone will just take a pill, not knowing what it is, and ingest that. And I, th I think there's a false sense of security to them because they feel, well, this was prescribed to my mother, my grandmother, my father, that it didn't hurt them, uh, so it won't hurt me, but we, we know uh, otherwise. Has community involvement helped, helped educate, or helped the, the children at least know that it, this can indeed be harmful? Uh, absolutely. There, you know, every, every law enforcement agency, from the locals up to, to county, uh, there are all, all sorts of uh, educational uh, programs that are given. Uh, this being one, a, a great one, uh, to turn in this medication uh, before something uh, bad does happen. Something bad really did happen. I mean, it was considered an epidemic. Has it improved at all? Well, it's improving. Uh, we see signs that people have become this issue. In fact, uh, Rutgers University did a study recently which showed that more people are securing their medicines and disposing their medicines today than they were only two or three years ago. So we know more people are taking the necessary steps they, that they, they can easily take in order to help protect their families. So we are making progress. What was the response from last year's challenge? Last year was wonderful. We had um, locations through the Sheriff's Association in each one of New Jersey's 21 counties which we are going to have again on November 10th. And we have thousands of people uh, come out of their homes, uh, do an inventory of what they had in their homes, and dispose of the medicines they no longer need or want. And those medicines are then disposed of, they're incinerated, and they're out of the reach of children. And that's the most important message. People tend to be hesitant, though, about going to some of those drop-offs. Should they be? Not at all. There's no questions asked. You just drop off whatever you have. Uh, I'd like to bring up another point also, not just the juveniles, but the elderly. There's lots of times the elderly will keep medication and, you know, they pass the date. They become uh, confused and maybe take the wrong thing. The best thing is for someone responsible in the household check and any medication that's not used uh, just to bring to one of these collection sites and discard it. Okay. And what has been the most important thing you think that everyone can learn and take away after this challenge? Well, I think the most important thing they can take away, especially parents, is that they can make a huge difference in their children's lives. And they can make a difference by, first of all, making sure they secure their medicines out of the reach of children, but also discuss this issue with your children. Uh, let them know that these medicines are dangerous, and if they're taken, they can lead. Unfortunately, we see a direct link between prescription drug abuse and heroin abuse in New Jersey. 
and it's so important that they start those conversations with their children and c have those conversations as frequently as possible. Where and when are the drop-offs? Uh, the drop-offs are throughout the state of New Jersey, November 10th, between the hours of 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., and you can find the location in your community or your county by visiting, which is the AmericanMedicineChest.com, and they have a complete location of all the, all the facilities. Okay, Angela, Sheriff, thank you so much thank for you. joining thank us. You. If you have ideas about topics you'd like to see discussed, please log on to my 9 tv com and click on Public Affairs. We want to hear from you. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. That's all for today's show. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Brenda Blackman, and we'll see you next week on New Jersey Now.